polymerase chain reaction, that is PCR, whether endpoint PCR, real-time PCR, reverse transcription PCR, or digital PCR, are all used to amplify regions of interest in the nucleic acid so that it can be detected, and in some types of PCR, the initial quantity obtained. The various types of PCR work on the same principle, cycles of denaturation, annealing, and extension. Thus, one strand of a specific section of DNA becomes two, two becomes four, and so on. In all cases, the components in the PCR mix include the nucleic acid template, heat-stable DNA polymerase, deoxynucleotides, primers, buffer, and cofactor. The basic or endpoint PCR methods results can only be observed at the end of PCR and gel electrophoresis. This PCR method is generally used to detect the absence or presence of a DNA fragment of an expected size. A quantity estimation may be made by comparing the amplified band's intensity on an electrophoresis gel to a known standard. In contrast to endpoint PCR, real-time PCR monitors DNA amplification after each cycle of reaction progress as fluorescence. Fluorescence is generated because the basic PCR mix is added with, for example, a fluorescent dye that non-specifically intercalates with only double-stranded DNA or sequence-specific DNA probes that bind to the amplified region which have fluorescently labeled reporters at the 5' prime end and quenches at the 3' prime end. When the fluorophore is separated from the quencher by the nuclease activity of tag polymerase as it synthesizes a new DNA strand, the reporter can generate fluorescence. More new DNA double strands means either more intercalation of dyes or more probes with reporters separated from quenchers, so more fluorescence detected when the dyes are excited at a specific wavelength of light from the PCR machine. As fluorescence increases in direct proportion to the number of amplicons generated, the initial DNA in the sample can be quantified, and real-time PCR is also called quantitative PCR. RT-PCR, or reverse transcription PCR, on the other hand, is used to detect or quantify RNA. The reverse transcriptase enzyme is incorporated into the PCR mix in RT-PCR, so the RNA template generates complementary DNA, otherwise known as cDNA. Then, double-trended cDNA is generated by DNA polymerase and fed into a PCR-based amplification process. RTQPCR is used to enable the measurement of RNA levels.